Hello, folks. All great on again. And welcome back to Landmark. I'm just running over to this server here to get some uh, some wood. Well, the reason for this video is a bit of a whinge, really. Directed at suddenly online entertainment. Now, as you folks know, all the regular people who watch my channel know that I like to play quite a lot of EQ too. And I've been a member of EQ2 for about 14 years. I've been with Sony Online Entertainment, starting with EQ, then EQ2. So when the All Access came out, well, I thought, oh, great. I'll maybe start doing uh, some videos of EQ1. Maybe um, DCU Online, you know, the DC characters. So I decided to uh, download the DC Online patcher down. So I downloaded the patcher. I was greeted by the message when I signed in. Banned. I thought, very strange this. Considering I've never been banned from anything in my life. So I got in touch with... Um, the helpline there, put a ticket in for it, and I got a very quick reply, which I'm very pleased about. Excellent service, which informed me, as I, my suspicions, that when the EU players and DCU on DC Online was sold to Frosyben. The accounts are migrated over to ProSyben, so we would not be eligible to use the All Access for that. I would have to get a subscription with ProSyben. Uh, I was a bit angry, to be quite honest. Been with Sony a long time. I mean. Originally, they were going to sell the EQ2 over to ProSyben as well, but there was a big stink about it. And eventually they backed down, and we were grandfathered in, the EU players. But any new ones would have to go with ProSyben. I've accepted it now, that I can't have a, a DC Online account. I knew my all access. What I want to know is, as I am now playing Landmark, and when EverQuest Net comes out, that is going to Pros Hybrid as well. Will I be able to use my all access for EverQuest next? And if the answer is no, I think I will cancel my subscription to EverQuest 2 and the All Access because there is absolutely no point. It would be with regret, with regret to do that. I like the games. But I don't like being discriminated against just because I'm in the UK. And that's really how I feel about it. So while I'm running around in this lovely environment, thinking about what EverQuest Next could look like, it's quite possible I would never get to play it. Right, well that's a rant over with. I don't know if I'll be doing any more EverQuest Two videos. I've, I've got some to still put up on the uh, up on the channel. Uh, whether I make any more, I don't know. I'm going to put a link to this on uh, Twitter, and hopefully, maybe 
somebody else we would get back to me and let me know if this is going to be the case will I be able to make an account on EverQuest next linked to SOE that would include my all access or will I have to go to Procybin and create one with those therefore negating the all access alright guys thanks for listening to me whinging I don't do it very often I'm a very quiet mild mannered man but this really got me damn drop as they say so this is all grey signing off